Hi everyone, this is Adriana. And I'm Scarlett Envy. Welcome to another episode of Fashion Photo Review. Drag Race France. We're on episode five right now, and tonight is a night of a thousand Milan Farmer. I am obsessed with this queen. My favorite song is now you have to teach me how to say it correctly. Dessin Chante. Is that how you say it? That was actually not that bad. Dessin Chante. Dessin Chante. Yeah. I would be remiss not to mention that she is an iconic redhead. So I'm hoping that we see some beautiful redheads on the runway today. What are we expecting to see on the runway? I think that she's kind of kooky. I see her, I mean, in a lot of black. Her fashion is so wide. There's so many years, more than 30 years of career, just like looks after looks. She considers herself not as a totally feminine woman. While she was growing up, she was like very boyish kind of. So she plays a lot with that too. I hope that at least one of the girls are gonna do that. I think this is gonna be more of a hair runway. Her hair is very iconic. Red, copper, gorgeous, loud hair. I'm expecting shocking. So shock us. Pour le défilé, la catégorie est la nuit des mille millennes. First, Lolita Banana. Yes, we were asking for red and we got red. Okay, very dramatic. Yes, I feel like we could be going to the same party. The hair, I can see Milan 100%. Milan has been an ally for, for the LGBTQ community for a long time. She's always said that uh, this community is so understandable, so opening and everything. I feel that this message is just perfect with her. I love when we, when we bring anything about our own personal story into this runway, right? I mean, she's obviously opening up about her, uh, about her status here. Uh, she has a beautiful and a powerful message. Undetectable equals untransmissible. And that's on period. Just makes, makes me so proud of Lolita right now. It is beautifully done. I can see all Milan in there. From the hair, to the outfit, to the shocking of the blood kind of dripping everywhere. I would have liked a little bit more in terms of the shape, maybe. Um, but again, if we're going to go with the shape or the skin, I think it's really nice that we can have the skin. I think it's always really fun to be like as naked as possible. The blood makes it look a little messy. I would have not put so much blood everywhere, but just like drips, like very particular drips in some places. I love a redhead in red. I think it's a really bold choice. Anyone that has like kind of gingery, coppery hair, just put on that like cherry red color is always, I think, very flattering. I just wish that the waist was at her feminine waist rather than um, the uh, waist, the, her, the, the male waist is a little bit lower. And also, by the way, this tuck is not great. I don't know if there even is, has been tucked really. It, she definitely has a meaty tuck going on in this latex, but in general, I mean, like, I just love this like shiny, sexy, latexy red thing. So this is gonna be a toot for me. Yes, very Milan. I am gonna toot this look. Up next, Ellipse. Yes, Ellipse, oh my God. She's giving us a, an actual look that Milan wore for uh, her performance of Sans, Sans Contrepasson, the song that she's talking about coming out of the closet and being yourself. I love Caro, I love the redhead that we were expecting. I was wondering where my shoulders went today and now I realize Ellipse has taken my extra shoulders and put them on her. Oh no, call her, get them back. Even without knowing the immediate reference, I love it. I think it's so flattering. I think that it's very 80s immediately. I love pants on the runway. I think that's really chic. It's very um, boss lady. I think that the hair is that iconic copper color. Uh, so that's two for two on the hair. I wish that it was a little bit more drag. Um, now that I see that there is, it is basically an exact replica of her look, which is fun but I do kind of love the idea of pumping up proportions a little bit more, like she's done with the shoulders to make it a little less pedestrian. The hair in, from the front looks good. From the back, it needs a little love, a little water, <laughs> a little hydration. I, I feel that she dragged the top, but not the cap. The original look, the cap is like much wider. So I would have made it like 
oversized kind of. It'll be a soft toot from me. It's gonna be a toot. Up next, la grande dame. Yes. Ooh, a lot of skin. Oh my God. Oh, I'm obsessed with her. We're seeing a pattern already uh, of everyone has the same color red on their head. I love this first look. I think it's very chic. It's very like Upper East Side. It fits perfectly with the hair. I really love this hairstyle with this dress, the puffy sleeves, how dramatic this carrot is. I am totally in for a reveal that has two amazing looks. I hate when you take a, when you do a reveal and you take off the better garment and then you're left with something that's not as good uh, under it. And this is not the case here. She looks stunning. This this black dress under here, I would wear the f out of it. The hair from the back looks stunning. The hair from the front looks stunning. She does have two giant titties right on her head, doesn't two she? Two giant red titties on her head. I love it. My favorite thing is when you're wearing a gown, but you're simultaneously naked. I think it's a really hard thing to do. And I think it's best of both worlds, you know? The glamour of a gown with the fresh breeze of um, no panties. This is a very hard, hard, hard toot. Toot for me, la grande dame. Up next, Soa de Muse. Oh. This is a reference to a like early 2000s where, you know, she's kind of gotten into this idea of the battle of the sexes, which I think what we've seen so far from Soa the Muse is very on brand for her. I kind of love the red. Uh, I think the sleeves are really cool. The message, the f them all, I think it's great. I think that it's kind of swallowing her. There's no shape there whatsoever. I wish that it was like bigger and grandier. I think that like she could have maybe put like some breasts in or to pad a little bit, I think would have been yeah. really nice. The sleeves were distracting me. That's the thing. Because uh, the rest of it, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, the, the sleeves, I love them, but that's the only thing that I love the look. Which kind of works if you're trying to distract the fact that the whole look is not very good. The sleeves are there just to be like, hey, look at me instead. I love the embroidery though. Yeah, the embroidery is beautiful. I hate the hair. Oh my God, I hate it so much. I get the cut of the hair, but just make it a little bit more drag. Her makeup is very natural too, so I, it's just, it's not working for me at all with the hair, makeup. I don't love the reveal either. I think that it's really important to have something shocking on uh, if you're gonna take something off. And this is what I was just saying about the last reveal is that if you're gonna take it off, you have to make sure that the garment under it is better. These looks do not go together at all. Je t'aime, mais c'est boat. Je t'aime the boat. Up next, Paloma. Oh, oh my God. Yes. Oh my God, it's so fun. So dramatic. The way that she walks that runway, we see texture, we see shapes, we see drama, the big hair, the makeup is soft, but just like so gentle to go with the whole dramatic experience of this look. I love the look. I think it's very effective. I love the cutouts. She's known specifically for this hairstyle, but also she has that iconic Reba bang going on. I think that it's really nice. We haven't seen any repeat hairstyles yet. And the reveal is effective. I mean, my only critique would be, I wish the reveal was a little bit smoother. It looked like maybe she was getting a little bit caught up in it. I agree with you that the reveal would have been a little bit smoother if there were maybe uh, magnets. No matter what you're wearing, it's always important to have some magnets in there just in case you have to rip it off immediately. Magnet panties, we need those. This is kind of giving me that shape I was asking for. It is flattering for her. It is stunning. I love the wig. And this is a big, big win, I think, for her on the runway this week. I love how Milan Farmer, she's a showgirl and she's always giving us like the scenic feelings on her shows. And this is how I felt with this runway. She came in just like full dramatic and just changing from l'ombre à la lumière, from darkness to light, and just giving us eras of Milan Farmer, she is uh, wearing the, the cover of her album. Also, I just love this like shiny wetness of the white fabric. It's just like angelic and stunning. It's a toot for me. I agree. It's absolutely a toot for me as well. 
So last but not least, La Big Bertha. Here we have this um, reference to the Millennium Tour, which again is I think the second person that's referenced the Millennium Tour. I understand the reference, but if you're doing something and you're, you you want to look, this doesn't look like the original look at all. I don't think it's flattering. I kind of do like the hair a little bit. Is there like a little rat tail ponytail moment going on in the back? Yeah, see that's what I don't love. I don't think that this color is flattering. It's like a peach. This second piece along the bottom, it's hitting her in like the worst possible place, making her like torso longer, making her legs shorter. The beard is a little bit like flat in comparison to the wig that she's wearing. I wish that she had stronger saturation in the beard to really turn it up and match exactly that wig that you're wearing. I feel like her top, there's a lot of effort on it. Uh, I like the shoulders. The rest of it looks very crafty. My eyes keep going to the shoe and it's not for a good reason, you know? The shoe is just offensive. Uh, yeah, my eyes keep going to the belt that I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I wish that there was no peach fabric at all. I wish that she would chop that ponytail off the back of this wig and just go with this kind of Kris Jenner 90s power cut. Um, I wish that there was a little bit more skin showing anywhere. It doesn't look like it's completed. It looks like you try to do too much, but sometimes taking some parts off is better. It's gonna be a boot for me. It's gonna be a boot for me as well. Trend, Trend alert! Wizard sleeves. Big puffy sleeves. Falling down sleeves. Long sleeves. You were wearing sleeves too. I just didn't get the call, so. I was actually matching the runway pretty good today, believe it or not. You were, you were. A lot of yeah. black on the runway, a lot of sleeves on the runway, a lot of um, the, the pop star fantasy baby. Our, Our top, top two of the week, week is... is La Grande Dame. Yes, this was stunning. She gave us the reveals we needed. Oh, hairy boobs on her head. We love that. Makeup, ass. The dress is stunning. I just want to see a photo of all of them lined up together with the same hair color. I think that's so funny. Yes. Everyone had the same hair color this week, which is wild. Oh my God, it's already top five. We only have a few episodes left of Drag Race France, and you can watch them Thursdays in France on France TV Slash. And catch it on Crave in Canada and on the rest of the world on Wild Presents Plus. Well, Adriana, I guess I'll see you next week, darling. Can't wait to see you there.